All right, we back, y'all. You know, and uh, we we'll to talk about a current event, bro. Talk Let's about something it. that's going on. Let's get it. Let's talk about this Fifty Cent and the baby. Okay. Let's talk about. So give us give us some context on it, cause I don't I know what you're talking about, but for the viewers, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So Fifty Cent, you y'all know, uh, was the person that brought in Pop Smoke in the mm -hmm. game, right? And everybody that heard about Pop Smoke, heard about Pop Smoke, he died. And 50, I guess, feel, you know, that like he owed himself. He kind of blamed himself into that from not kind of taking Pop Smoke under his wing mm -hmm. furthermore. So he decided to offer that to the baby and a consultant and show him, like, the ropes of the game and how to really deal with this industry and how to avoid certain situations. Yeah. And I feel like, me personally, I feel like that's a good thing because 50 been through here and there and the stuff he doing now – I mean, I respect it as far as what I see on, you know, entertainment side and stuff like that. So, what about you? What's your intake on it? Um, you know how I feel about 50, dog. He, that's, that's my dog right there. <laughs> Just from an entrepreneur standpoint, and he came into the situation, like how I always say, the bullies win. He came into this, the situation attacking people. Damn near ruined Ja Rule's career, Fat Joe's career. I like that. He went into their head first, like, I'm here now. I'm fearless. Fearless. Yeah. Since you say that, you get know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite artists and 50 Cent. Greg. My friend, he ain't even got a grab. I'll grab it. Since you say fearless, and I refer y'all all, all the time to books, because I study the people who I look up to Robert Greene and 50 Cent. Literally, the 50th law on the back of it say fear nothing. And that's what he pushed. So I'm going to sit this right here. And then also, how, how's, as far as in you talking about, you know, taking um, the baby under his wing. Because at first he was doing it with Pot Smoke. Right. And everybody knew Pot Smoke from sounding like 50. He did. He redid Mini Man and he made it the, the newer version of it. Like Pop yeah. was coming out hard. Um, I fuck with that. But bad situation mm -hmm. happened with Pop Smoke and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro got touched. You know what I'm saying? And it ended bad. What I noticed about Fifty Cent is he trying to give the young dudes the game the way that it should have been done. That it should be done from a father's perspective, knowing knowing Fifty's history. Because again, I study, bro. To the the mindset of get rich or die, trying the mindset of having a bad baby moms, and, or the mindset of having a son who mm. don't love him like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it's crazy that you say to us stars and talking about patience and love. He said a quote about how, how long can you love somebody, somebody who love don't you love you back? So everything come full circle. You know what I'm saying? But for him to take on the baby I'm not surprised about that the baby got a wave that's going on right now to him that's real strong mm -hmm. um and the baby is a great like entertainer everything he do from the time he came out wearing a diaper entertaining from the backstory of how he blew up as far as in that so called persona of a thug you know what I'm saying catching bodies and shit like that like and even 50 Cent even said it in another interview. He just got interviewed on. He was saying like, yo, back then, you know, thugging was different from what it is now. <laughs> thugging back then was, you feel me, I'm selling to survive. Now, you go to, a, he was like, you go to some of these young niggas, you be like, you feel me? You out here thugging. He was like, yeah, I caught a couple body. He was like, you caught a body? <laughs> What y'all want? Like y'all tripping? Like y'all want to go out here trying to kill bro. people? Like this, this is ranking y'all? That's that's what it is for them. But the, it's destruction. So what I see with Fifty's moves, and I'm paying attention to his moves. He trying to get these young guys who got a great influence up under his wing, so they can he can teach them the game, as far as in how to move the proper way. He learned by studying Robert Green, and he was saying it's a, it's another video of him saying like. Yo, my grandfather told me that you are going to be go as far as the people you talk to for no reason. And he was like, what I mean is, 
This person should be giving you information to help you grow. If you ain't got shit to give me, then what the fuck I'm talking to you for? This was on a rooftop. You get what I'm saying? I can describe. Old 50. Oh, exactly. the old 50. The old 50. And he was breaking down how he read Robert Greene and all of that stuff. Like, So, going into, you get what I'm saying? Hustle harder, hustle smarter. This is the breakdown of how he did what he did. This is the breakdown of, of getting to where he got. Yeah. You can listen to these things. Sorry for this, but you can listen to these things on audio, on YouTube, audio books. Read the book. I personally think you should read the book. But I'm that's just how I feel about the situation with him. I think he's doing a great job, but I, th- I think he's doing it in a, in a sh- very strategic way, which is called telesis, vibrate higher, in a way where... He's strategically moving away to be able to influence young guys to look like, yo. This is how to do it. This is this is what you want to do. This is how you do it. Y'all thinking that that jail shit cool. You reposted something that he said it's, as far as in like, for all the young dudes, y'all talking about jail. But then when I finally seen. Out and about, like, yeah. in the real world, like, y'all niggas, it, how, it, what it was said was. Y'all perspective is too small. Y'all see jail Basically. and death too much where around the corner, you probably can't even make it out your neighborhood to really see like the shit y'all beefing about and the shit y'all really stressing over it ain't really shit at all compared to the, the real view of the world. It's Basically. so much shit out here that y'all haven't seen. And again. And he wanna he want y'all to get a chance to, to be able to shit. see that. Yeah. I see his moves. From the from the time he dropping power to power book two to now power book three. Uh, raising Canaan, he giving you the backstory of how all of this stuff go. You know the end result of what happened to Canaan. Now you see in the beginning. Let me show you. So you saw how I got in this, and who influenced him the most? His mama, because mm. why they was in a hard situation, trying to get out of out of the situation, get rich or die trying. You get what I'm saying? Well, look what happened. He tried to get rich, but he ended up in death. And who killed him? Somebody who he thought he could trust. Mm. Yep. Is is is. How how I see it, I mean, kind of like what you said again, I feel like that's what the old school rappers, the OGs in the game of anything when it comes to athletic, it comes to music, you know, being an author, entrepreneur, the next wave is coming up, the next generation. And instead of you criticizing them. Yeah. And talking bad upon them and their mistakes they're making, take them up under your wings or at least try to reach out to them and get some type of common ground and say, hey, I see what you're doing. I I notice what you're doing, but let's see if we can make this work and let's see if we can get you here. Right. Instead of saying, what, you know, criticizing, because again, that's yeah. that's still a form of hate. They, they, y'all. And so, when, if, why would we take advice for that? Me coming to this game, and I see that you coming at me on this sideways talk. Because again, I really, yeah, I respect my elders, but if an elder disrespect me, it's fuck you. It's, it's not. It's not that. For me, how I look at it is, I won't allow somebody to disrespect me, but like I'll study you to the point where I could see what you own. And, yep. and this is where the elevated innovation over ignorance come into play. Think before you move. Mm-hmm. Pay attention to the red flag. We've got an episode about that. Age ain't no limit to a red flag. Pay attention to people's patterns. If Correct. you want to play this game and win at the game, because again, I tell you, I'm going to reemphasize the bullies win. Pay attention to the winners. Don't read or study the losers. Correct. Only time you do study the losers, because you do need to focus on negative energy because you need to be aware of it. Is looking for the pattern. Okay, most people who move this way, who stab people in the back, make smart remarks or joking remarks consistently about the same thing and try to call it a joke. Envious. Yeah, dog, you envious of me or you jealous of me. Most people who try to belittle you in a uh, joking way. Oh, that, that that's cool, but you can wear this. That's cool, but you can wear that. If you pay attention to females, you have, you got that one fine friend and all the rest of her friends ugly as hell. The real reason is because in the inside, she ugly as shit. Nah, that's true. And so, it, it goes back into what we were saying about uh, 
when somebody you tell somebody good news to speak on something positive and they be like, uh, okay, yeah, yeah like. That's a, that's, that's cool. A flag. Like you like what? what what you mean? Like damn, like, your whole energy changed. But as soon as it's something negative or downside, they get excited off the shit. They get excited, or they or they feed off a of, off of talking about nothing but negative experiences throughout their day. Pay attention to that. Like, and if you the type of person, because let's 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 make this clear. Because I want you to I want you to evolve. I don't want to get on you in a way where to the point where you can't evolve. Mm-hmm. You can't elevate. It's a dope cover, bro. It's golden. Gold with that blue in there. You feel me? It's nice. It's for a reason. Gold there for a reason. But, uh, you know. But go ahead, bro. Yeah. Man, explain it. If, if, you, if you're that type of person that's doing that, man, you need to go through personal development. You need to figure out why you feel the way you feel. And most of the time, you feel that way because you feel like you're lacking something. I'm telling you right now, you probably are lacking something. You're lacking knowing self. Personal development is the process of going through knowing who you are and learning who you are and accepting you for who you are. We talked about that on the last episode. We didn't go deep on it, but accept you for who you are. The dark side, the shadow, Robert Greene call it what it is. That's how you're going to fix the issues you got in your life. Accepting them, be aware of them, and then change them. Knowing your weaknesses. Knowing your weaknesses. Knowing what you what you dislike. Knowing and when you get into uncomfortable situations, how you gonna respond. Pay attention to them people who get into them uncomfortable situations and how they respond. Because they, they will fuck you. You remember when we um we had a conversation and he was like, um, when you date somebody or you get to know somebody for the first time, most of the time they tell you exactly who they, who they are in the first first thirty minutes. First thirty to minutes hour. and you don't even have to ask. It's kind of like a way if you ask, okay, somebody always asks you, like, what you like? And you be like, oh, I like this, I like that. And he be like, all right, what you dislike? And they be like, um, people that lie. That's them. People that, you know, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you be like, what? Like A good one, a good one for as far as a relationship is, so without blaming your, your ex, spouse yeah. or your ex, for the situation that you, what could you have done better in your relationship? I agree. If they can't name none of that, dog, it's an issue. That's a red flag. When, Get rid of them. When somebody, I ask a question, I'm like, uh, are you ever wrong? And they be like, nah. Oh, bro. That's the easiest, obvious, most red flag I'm ever. Like, what? You not even, because I know for sure I make mistakes daily. And I mean, I'm honest. I made mistakes on this podcast. Like, yeah, but I I'm openly and I'm honest enough with myself to say, oh my bad, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Yeah, <laughs> get on each other all the time. Like all the time. we're gonna, bro, I'm gonna fix it. And there's no question. Leaving out no the rebuttal. bread and shit. Like that's it. And so every day, like he said, we always talking on some positive stuff. But to stay into that tone, not even just in a relationship, but just in general with life with a friend, somebody that you want to. Oh, this my bro. Like you can't call everybody your bro. You can't call everybody your dog. Yeah, you, you can't, can't call it, you can't call a girl sister because <laughs> they can get hit. You can't call get everybody your friend. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy about it, the crazy thing, I think Gilly said something on it, mm-hmm. and it was something about real. And I, bro, I promise you, I'm a, at the end. I'm gonna look it up. And I'm going to tell you exactly what he said with the word about real. And he was just saying, like, real people and are going to be themselves. Authentic. Authentically themselves. Mm. And if they can't accept their flaws and accept for, man, I did what I did because I did it. I didn't know no better. Or I just made a mistake. I didn't know. That's no problem. Ignorance is true. Everybody's ignorant to something. Even the smartest person that you know is ignorant to something. Yeah. But being able to say, I don't know, is the most truthful thing you can say. Well, what you do that you could have done better? My communication skills. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm toxic. Yeah. I'm toxic. <laughs> but you're a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> you're a narcissist. You see that sarcasm when he said that? You toxic? just got to, you know what I'm saying? You. It's one of the things where, again, we can't just get on it. 
y'all and say this and can't get on just on ourselves, but we just keeping this real as possible. We do we do that. The one thing I say that people need to pay attention to when it comes to our moves, the same way how how I pay attention to Fifty Cent. The power of intention is very powerful. Mm. Because if I tell you exactly what I do and you don't pay attention to it, it makes me more powerful. Because you knew. That's where manipulation comes into play. Into play. When he first told me that statement, bro, it took me two days to really... I understood. I understood what he said, but I was like, that's fucked up. Like, that's... Some. But then he was like, it really is just the truth. Like, that's the most player shit you could really say listen, to somebody. Listen, baby. Like, <laughs> listen, baby. <laughs> I mean... Listen, I'm nasty. It is what it is. <laughs> either you, you, either win, you win or you out. <laughs> either you gonna drop them drops or you gonna get the fuck up. But you can't it say is what it is. I ain't tell you like Yup, you can't if if I go into like me going into a relationship, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I'm in or out and I choose to not do that for a reason. Mm. But I'm in a relationship mm. and if I go into the situation telling you from the jump Listen, my communication skills are not that great because I am busy with what I do. And then things start to roll over. Mm. That's where your patience, going full circle, needs to come into play and understand. Dog told me straight up, up front. Right. And that also goes into what you agree with because you got to know what you signing yourself up for. You you have the ability to say yes yeah, or no. Yes or no. Like You can be like, nah, I'm cool. I, I need somebody who's going to be focused on me. It is what it is. And and, and you got to be willing to be able to accept whether you took an L or, or you, whether you grew from that. Because a lot of people not understanding take bigger losses in the long run than they think. Right. Just because it, it wasn't beneficial to you in that moment mm-hmm. and you couldn't see the bigger picture, that's your ignorance. Right. But then when... 10 years down the line, 5 years down the line, 20 years down the line, you finally see what that person was working on finally hit. Or you didn't believe in that person while they was going through that process of what they were doing and it finally hit. Now all of a sudden you're like, oh gosh. Or you see that person roll over and next you know they get married to somebody because that person understood them and you didn't. So then you like, well... You told me you wasn't this, and you it was this, or hey, bro, you told me that we was gonna invest in this, and told me I told you to be patient. Nip came out with a song called "I Know Perfect Timing." Feel like I'm too late, dog. Perfect timing. Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen, and that's when why it's he supposed to happen. A marathon. That's why this, he caught this exactly. shit. This shit, really, I promise you. What we saying to y'all, when you finally, I know some of y'all going through this very moment. You're going to have your high moments, yeah. and you're going to feel untouchable. And yeah. you're going to have your low moments, you're going to be like, I'm doing this shit wrong. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? But I guarantee you, at those lowest moments, you are so much closer to what you want to be, where you want to be at, because you're molding yourself. Mm-hmm. It's the cocoon stage. It's like, damn, I got to make this work I gotta make this work I gotta be tedious I gotta sacrifice I gotta sacrifice I gotta do this I gotta do that but I promise you when you get from that moment this shit didn't get easy you just got stronger and we still going through this process like it's not like I'm. we not telling you this from from a standpoint of oh we made it now no nah. these people made it now the ones who wrote these books they, I'm in the process of growing you see the process of what I'm doing I'm standing on my principles and standing on what we saying because this is what we're practicing. Right. It's a practice. We're going through this process. We can identify the bullshit that people give you. We can identify people not being patient with us. We can identify us not being patient with people. We can identify our toxic traits because we were toxic. Not in a toxic way of of purposely or it could have been purposely. You know what I'm saying? Growth. That's the whole point of what I'm saying. Dog, you really <laughs> you really good. <laughs> I can't even take that serious, dog. Uh, I can't take that serious. But you know what? With that being said, bro, we're going to roll off of that. We're going to roll off of that. <laughs>